Okay, this is where the other one. So, because uh, I've done electrics and uh, electronics before, and worked with batteries before, <clears throat> there's a couple of things you've got to be careful of, and obviously on this, because um, we have an irrigation system, so you have to make sure you've got enough space to actually fit it, because when I took it off it was really hard, because the wiring was in the way sometimes, and that was a real problem, And because it's like one and the other. I'm putting the irrigation system on last, but try and keep it so that you're coming out that way so you're actually you know leaving a lot of space around it do you know what I mean and then here keep it out of the way also I would choose let me just go around there I would choose points correctly to put the uh, sensing points on so that it's out of the way do you know what I mean like for instance I think one of them there's one where it was obviously uh, let me see can't think this one I think that went on there no it wasn't I don't know, I can't remember. But one of, oh, this one here, you see. I think originally it was on that, but then that means the wire comes across, you see, and it's in the way, so instead I put it on this one, something like that. Just be wary of it, so that it's out of the way, because obviously um, having problems getting the irrigation system off is a pain in the back side. I've just noticed the one I haven't tightened down. So there's the negative there, I haven't tightened that down, there's not on it, and the positive there, I've left those off, obviously, uh, to last. So I'm going to be doing those last, and in fact, I think now. So what I've done is, <clears throat> the way the loom works is relatively obvious, I think, by the length of the wires, and also because I took it off this, where um, the points go on the batteries due to the length of the wires. You can't reach certain places, and you know, and points to come out of the loom and stuff like that. So I'm going to just simply do like, and I've put it on, and I've tightened it up. Right, and I'll I'll do a diagram of the uh, how we've wired up the sensor loom. Uh, but I mean, it's not critical. It just means that some batteries are going to be sensed strongly. That's all. Um, yeah, if you yeah, that's a good point actually. Because if if it's sequenced wrongly, you may find that batteries are showing the wrong voltages. Like some of them are showing 12 volts instead of six, which is obviously a problem because you've got the sequence wrong. It's expecting a certain sequence. So I'm going to power it up. And I'm actually going to connect up, I've got my laptop down there, I'm going to connect it up to make sure that it is registering all the voltages of being 6. And if it isn't, then obviously there's a problem. <laughs> and I think that's the way I'm going to do it. And then I'm pretty sure that, I, and I'm relatively confident that it should show it right. Uh -huh. Of course, if you've got like 48 volts across, it could be really damaging. So I'm going to do that and see, but it, it it does seem relatively obvious which which voltages are which and stuff, and I'm sure it can manage 12 volts in the sensing because all it's doing is sensing the voltage. If the voltage is too low or too high, it's not actually powering anything, you know. And certainly, if I was designing a loom like this, I'd make sure that it could handle the full 48 just in case it was wired up wrongly, <coughs> you know, you know. Although, uh, so anyway, I'm going to see. I'll wire it up. And then we'll see what it says on the laptop, and hopefully all of the actual batteries show somewhere 6-7 volts, because that's what we're expecting. Hey-ho!